Maria Rivera has plenty of industry experience to recognize potential. The former Krispy Kreme president has also held roles at TGI Fridays, Logan's Roadhouse, Darden Restaurants, and the Walt Disney Company. So when she was asked to consider leading a fledgling and relatively unknown concept called Small Sliders out of Baton Rouge, Louisiana, she was skeptical but intrigued. Our goal is to take the brand from fully ground level to emerging by the first quarter of 2024. And then from there, accelerate to get to a regional level when we're thinking about the franchise growth curve um, in the next year and a half. So the first 40 do matter, as you know, but at the pace of where we're dropping cans starting next year, we will we will get to that comfortable 20 to 30 openings a year by year two and 30 to 40 by year three. Small Sliders is able to create efficiencies from its modular building, which Rivera calls groundbreaking and life-changing. What is insulating us is the innovation around the can um, and the fact that we keep it really simple. It's a, it's a modular building uh, with a KDS system with a very ergonomically friendly kitchen that can manage its labor as, as, as the sales scale up or scale down. So it's, I mean, I'm not going to tell you that we don't have challenges because we do. Um, and but we don't have the traditional challenges that a brick and mortar unit, you know, the brand has. We don't. Rivera also knows there are challenges that come with trying to plant a flag in the intense burger category, but she's confident small sliders has enough differentiation to stand out and succeed. So we are not going after just any market share. We feel that we're very uniquely positioned to develop a cult-like following where others might not be playing as hard because they are more settled and, as you said, um, legacy. Small Sliders is not as insulated on cost of goods as the company uses premium beef for its products. That said, the menu is small and focused. Cheeseburger sliders, fries, milkshakes, drinks, and is expected to stay that way. We're not going to try to be everything for everyone. We sell cheeseburger sliders and we sell slamming cheeseburger sliders that are grilled to order. And that to me is the discipline of, of, of delivering a great one product brand, but it forces us to have to be massively consistent in the way we operate, to be great and best in class operators which is very easy to say and very hard to do, and to make sure that we're providing a consistent experience when guests want to come back again and again. Notably, Small Sliders is trying very much to appeal to younger consumers, Gen Z specifically, as it expands. Rivera says the brand is striving to be Instagrammable, punchy, clever, and in your face. The company's final pieces, a full website redesign, an app, a CRM platform, should support this goal and are expected to be in place by the end of the first quarter. From there, it's full speed ahead. For me, it just continues to be a great opportunity for us to define ourselves in the space. It's not just proving ourselves, which I know we will do, and I'm very confident by the end of this year we'll be there. Um, I think it's more about making sure that we are building a brand that can sustain for years to come.